hello guys welcome to tutorial bot and this is the third video on uh, implementing material design onto your website you can see that i am trying to uh, duplicate a google web page and i have created these uh, html and css styling and now in this video we are going to make a button but this time we are going to make the button do something so we are going to learn two things today that is uh, about the paper button styling and the uh, paper toast so first we are going to create a button uh, like we did in the uh, second video and we are going to make uh, this button named toast button and we are going to give a id so that we are going we can style this button and we are going to name t button for toast all right so we are going to style this button and we have given the name the id called uh, t button so let's see if it appears here okay so toast button appeared here and now we are going to style this button goods they have all right so now we are uh, we have given the id called t button so we will do hash t button open and close bracket and then we are going to give the same color uh, we have uh, given the background that is the header background behind the material design page title so we are going to give padding top so that it appears below the material design end so let's say 300 pixel save it and then we are going to make this button raised so that it appears like it is raised oh, Sorry, it should not be padding top. It will actually increase the size of the button. If we did the padding top, it should be only top. So now we change the padding top to top. and before that we are going to make the all right 300 pixel is not enough we will increase the uh, pixel a bit let's say 350 and it is going to be all right so now it's all right we are going to change the button background and the button color so to change the button background we write background color or only background and we give the same color from the header background and color and this color uh, is for the text color and if you go there and refresh you can see that uh, the button appears really well really nice and you can also see that the ripple effect has turned white because the color is white now and now we are going to make this button do something so we will write the on click property 
and inside the on kit property you are going to write document let's first make the toast before we write the on click property because we need its id for the button to work so we make a tag called paper toast and it has a property called text which will appear inside the toast so let's put some random text there and then close the tag and we are going to give the id here let's say toast and we are going to use this id for the on click property of the button so we write document dot query selector and it selects a query or an id in our case we are going to use the id and dot show all right so now it is all done let's see if the toast works uh, refresh toast button I think we did some mistake actually it doesn't matter but let's put small s here and then see if it works so again some mistake um i think it's a very silly mistake here or there oops you can see that the spelling here for document and now it should be fine silly me so you have to refresh and then click on the button and you can see that a toast appears so you can see that if you click on the button it acts like a toggle so in this tutorial that is all and in the next tutorial we will make a new button that will make a dialogue pop up so thank you guys for watching do subscribe and have a nice day